week's episode, Gary Peterson's Wonder Wand, Part 2. I'm experiencing a feeling I've never felt before. The dictionary says it's called sympathy. I want to give you your air conditioner back. No, 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 no. I, I, I like it hot. It go for my complexion. No, I insist. No, 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 you teach me lesson, Miss Pam. I love lesson. You made me so happy. Really? You mean I was right to leave an 85-year-old man in a 600-degree room? Super right. Very super right. Well, how about that? You know what? I will never engage in a moment of self-doubt again. Thank you, Wong. No, no, no. Thank you, Miss Pam. God damn it. Heavy fucker. You realize you have virtually shut the door on any reasonable treatment from that woman in the future. Ah, fuck her. Soon I'll be a millionaire. I'll buy a golden steamroller and squish her flat like a pancake. <laughs> What we need to do is place these water magnetizers in these plastic sleeves and seal them for shipment back to Belgium. Got it! It really is hotter than a shithouse flower in here. That sleeve a little small, Gary. <laughs> Gary, your wand is too big to fit. No, it's almost in, Wong. Just relax. Oh, that's, that's good. Yeah, 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 that's good. Now, now p- 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 push harder. No fucking way. Oh, no, m- m- Miss Pam, it's not what it looked like. Oh, fuck me running. The old chink's gone homo. <laughs> oh, 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 Miss Pam, I, I'm sorry. I can explain. No need, Wong. You are who you are. To be honest, I've had my suspicions all along. So you're not mad about Gary being here? I don't judge, Wong. If I did, who would do my hair and select my wardrobe? So it okay if Gary stay here tonight so we can cram more wands? Uh, uh, a good rule of thumb here will be, the less I know, the better. Thanks, Miss Pam. What a nice lady. Donna, a lot of people don't understand how you fell in love with Ryan. I know! It's hard to look at a guy who's just a head floating in a jar and say, Hey, he'd make a great boyfriend. But when you hang out with someone like Ran, who's so super smart and fills your head with new ideas, well, it's like, it's like having a mental orgasm. Yeah! Wong? Uh, yes, Miss Pam? Considering your current proclivity toward men, I was wondering, don't you think you could find a better new friend than Gary Peterson? I mean, if you wanted, I could introduce you to someone really great and hot from the gym. Oh, that's not necessary, Miss Pam. I'm lucky Gary Peterson picked me to be his partner. Yeah, but he's so, I don't know, how do the French say it? Revolté? I mean, tell me, what do you see in him anyway? Wow, he he kind, he's smart, he have great ideas. Mental orgasm! Like that girl say on a TV television talk show. He he shoot jizz into my brain. Oh my god! Oh, I know, every time I with him, he squirt man juice on my head. Oh sweet Jesus fucking lord. That's right, he make me have a skull full of spymatozoa. Okay, I've heard enough. Very good, here's what we do. I go to my room and take a bath for the next 12 and a half, say, hours, and I try to wash that image from my brain. Forever. Okay, Miss Pam, 